Yeah, so we know a bunch of things about high deductible health plans right now, which and most of the literature comes from those high full replacement kinds of plans where employers one day say, okay, everybody is being shifted to a high deductible product. So the first thing that we know is that they definitely reduce spending. And so they do what they're intended to do. They're, they're designed to save employers money. Um, the best estimates we have is that about $500 per member per year is what they end up doing. So that's successful. They do that by reducing utilization more than anything else. So they reduce the use of all kinds of services, medications, radiology, emergency rooms, office visits. Um, and so on the positive side, again, the, the, the reduction um, in, in cost is really a facet of reduction in utilization. On the negative side, what we know is that the reduction in utilization is both for services that we would call low value or, le or less essential or non-essential, as well as for services that appear to be essential. And so people uh, end up making choices uh, that are suboptimal for at least their long-term health um, or perhaps even their short-term pain or suffering because of the nature of the benefit design. Uh, the benefit design as they're intended to do mean that more people are put at risk from uh, for short-term costs and financial burden and the literature that we has uh, that we have say that people actually suffer, struggle a little bit more when they're on these plans as compared to traditional plans.